All right, it is now day 21 at 6.17 in the morning. You'll notice that my vitality has improved dramatically since last we met. The trip to Hades brought it down to like, what, 250 or something, which brought my health down to, I don't know, 300 hit points or something. But um, to work out, my good buddy Nito King in the comments told me that you can use the treadmill while running, apparently. And so I tried that, and my vitality went up like 20, 25 points a pop. It was ridiculous. It's amazing. So I'm going to show you to you one last time because my vitality, I think, tops out at 500 like most of my other core skills here. And the music that goes along with it is actually, there's a track on the soundtrack CD that played this. And he just assumed this would be the best place for it to try, for it to play. And then, so we tried it and it works. Check it out. Why have I never tried this before? That's just the best workout music ever. It's even better than, than uh, spazzercising. Love it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> in the span of a day, I have topped out my vitality. So again, the trip to Hades had absolutely no repercussions whatsoever. So let's rest up. And there we go. Max health is 500 exactly. My stamina is maxed out at 450. That's crazy. Which is good because I believe we are coming up on end game, which is the point of no return. All right. So now what we have to do is we have the Blackbird. Uh, well, first thing I got to do is I am... Super overloaded for my Blackbird trip. So let's go talk to Folus real quick. Did I do that already? Yeah, I think I sold some stuff, but not enough. I'm still saddled down with shit. Oh yeah, and then I gotta go to the bank and drop off all the freaking money that I'm carrying around. I can only imagine, I must be approaching 20 grand by now. I have to be. It's nuts. And I'll have no plans for this whatsoever. Then again, I might be king, but then I'm thinking, I believe at the end of the game, you have the ability to turn down the crown. So you can go out and venturing, or you can live the life of luxury and retirement as a king. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, let me know in the comments what you think the best course of action is. Should I take... Should I be king? Or should I give it to someone else? I don't know. It depends on what he wants to do with the rest of his life. What do you think? Oh, I understand what's happening. I can't sell this to Folis because I think this is stolen goods, technically, so he won't take it. Ah, okay. Well, more reason to go down to the Thieves' Guild to turn in the Black... Well, no, actually, no. I want to give the Blackbird to him. I want to give the Blackbird to Ferrari. But if we don't have the Blackbird, that means we can't become Chief Thief because we have to give it to Orestes and we have to do it the old-fashioned way. However, I do know that you have to go back and steal the Blackbird again from Ferrari, which I'm looking forward to again, which I think will be our last great infiltration mission. Hmm? To the bank, to the bank, to the bank, 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 to the bank, to the bank, to the bank, 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 to the bank, to the bank, to the bank, bank, bank. Yeah, I have 16, almost 17,000 drachmas saved up. What am I gonna do with it all? Maybe I should go buy buy that Dragon Slayer sword anyway. Well, I I guess I could get started on the Rite of Peace and get that going, but I don't want to miss my chance on turning in the Blackbird. So let's just wait it out. Oh, hi. I really, really need your help. Oh, please say you will. Pretty, pretty, please. And what is it? What, 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 um, okay. Hey, it's the playing girl who has never said a word. What's she doing and what's your plan? What do you need me to do? I mean, I'm going to do it because we're friends. But what's going on? Great! I told everyone that I had a belly dancer to entertain this evening. Unfortunately, Tessie couldn't fit into the belly dancing costume. And? My gal Sal has a black eye. And? and Tony has a broken toe. What's so going on? So do it. And that left Rover. And he refused. All you need to do is go up on stage, get dressed, and come out dancing. Just wiggle your butt and wave your arms and you'll do fine. We're all rooting for you. Um, all right, I do this without question. Okay, and for no audience, I see. Who am I entertaining? There's no one here. Oh, wait, do we have an audience coming in? W yes, okay, like random townsperson number five and, and uh, Wolfie. And I, wow, I, it looks like my head has just been stuck on Noir's body. But hey, uh, 
sneaky feet, you, you, you're working those glutes, man. The, uh, the working out really helped you out, and that's the show. People came from miles around to see me dance for approximately 10 seconds. Take a bow, sneaky feet. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy my pasty white thighs. Oh, do they ever stop clapping? They do. Okay, uh, say, Wolfie, what do you think about the show? Do you enjoy it? The dance was most interesting, I am thinking. Wolfie, your your feedback is wonderful, but I don't I don't think you're being quite honest with me. No man asked me to come to the inn this night to see a dance. I did not know that it would be you that was dancing. It is very nice to be out at night instead of painting all the time alone. Oh, poor Wolfie. Well, I'm glad you came out to see the show. Good good man, man. Uh, tip your waitress. Thank you very much for the dance. I have never seen anything like it before this. Wolfie, I'll give you a private dance whenever you want, baby. Hello, random townsperson. You don't exist. I can't talk to you. You are a prop. All right, and then there's uh, whose name I cannot remember because she never told me. Oh, Sala. Thank you, Sala. Smiles. Praise. He twinkles. All right, goodbye. Wish farewell with the tail. Let's see. What time is it now? Okay, so now it's somehow 8.27 p.m., which means the black... Yeah, the black parrot. The dead parrot, or the blue parrot. You know, the the... the the bar with the bird, it's its open, so let's go there. Yeah, and the Ferrari should be there. We'll be all ready to go. And we might even be able to get it back in the same night. If somehow he magically transported it to his house without leaving. Eh. But we also have to give No Man her deed back. That's a thing. Yeah, we actually still have quite a bit to do before we actually go to Atlantis. Let's do some business with the local land shark. Land, land shark owner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, let's see if I actually made any money off of my bets. Because I haven't been called to perform in the in the, uh, the arena at all. It's weird. So did I not show I lost a bet? Uh, will I challenge? Hell yeah, I will. Wait, Gorton Magnum. Oh, it's a forfeit, of course. All right, challenge, yes. All right, and I'm going to place all of my money on me. I think I can only bet a thousand at the most. Yeah, a thousand at the most. Okay, so bam. So I just bet some money on myself. You could technically bet a thousand dollars on every fight that you're in and just take a fall and you're guaranteed because you don't lose anything from it. You don't lose health or stamina or vitality. You're, you're healed up and you're done. So yeah, that's it. Uh, let's bet on something else. See, Gort and Toro are playing, or they're fighting tomorrow. All right, so I gotta be in town on the 25th. Gort and Toro. That might be a tough one. Gort kind of sucks. Toro has a gigantic goddamn hammer. So Toro, I'm betting on you, buddy. Because I have literally nothing better to do with my money than to spend it on a contest between a gigantic bull my man and a Frankenstein's monster. God, I love this game sometimes. All right, now, Ferrari, now that I got my betting out of the way, we can talk business. Let's get down to brass tacks. You look very pleased with yourself. What can I do for you now? Do you have something to trade for the gnome's deed? I think if you are a non-thievy person, you can give him the reward for the right of peace, because I think you get a statue from it. And you could trade that for the deed instead. But I wonder, just out of curiosity, can I trade any of these other things, like the magic statue and all that? Yeah, I have no interest in things of little value. That's that's impressive. He didn't want that stuff. Okay, there's the black. Oh, that's imitation blackbird. No, I think he'll know the difference. Let's give him the real blackbird and be done with it. The imitation blackbird, I think we use as a uh, sort of Indiana Jones style swap when it's on display in his house because he can't take a close look at it up there. But if you try to give it to him now, I'm fairly certain he'll uh, he'll get wise. Here's the blackbird, baby. Could it be? Yes. Yes! It is real. It is the real blackbird. At last, I have the real blackbird. I must congratulate you, my friend. I always knew you were a man of infinite resource. Here, take the deed to the gnome inn. I have no interest in it now. Oh, then you have my word as a gentleman that no mention of certain unsavory aspects of your profession will ever be revealed. At least, not by me. Hmm, that's an interesting loophole you left yourself, Ferrari, so you could probably tell anybody, and it's like, Hey, Sneaky V went out and did all this bad stuff, you should go tell somebody about it. In a way, you know, kind of a, a thieves code, I, I, I trust him. 
Barely, but I trust him. All right, so let's go test this theory and see if I can break into Ferrari's house immediately and get it right back again. I might have to wait for the second day, another day from now. I think the game's smart enough to catch on, but we'll see. And you know what? What the hell? As long as we're on a thiefy tear. All right, bank. Me and you. Um, all right. Well, I can't blackjack the guards because they're watching. And do I have my sneak charm on? I'm pretty sure I do. That's my good luck charm. I want to wear my stealth charm. Thank you. Water breathing amulet. Does that take the place of my, my charm? It does. All right. So stealth it is. Bam. Let's see if I'm stealthy enough to do it. Yeah. And but do I look suspicious to you guards walking towards the bank that's been broken into once already this month? Uh, no, I don't want to risk it while the guy's there. Let's wait till he turns his back, and then I'll break in. All right. All right, pick the lock. You Whoop. should not be out now. There are Signomi, you are under How arrest. How did you see me do that? I'm in prison for life now. All right, well, let's try that again. I like how polite the guard was about it, too. It's like, I'm sorry, but you're kind of under arrest a little bit. I'm sorry, guard, but you had to go down. No one can see me do this. There we go. All right, I had to blackjack a guard in his face, by the way. Okay, so now here we are. So we know the plan here. Let me get my pad and pencil ready, which I believe is probably just one last lockpicking job. I can't think of anything else we need to do. There we go. I almost wasn't able to do it. I had to really spam it. But hey, my lockpicking went up. It's surprisingly low. Stealth and intelligence went up, though. That's kind of nice. All right, lock. Let's do this. There we go. Done. All right. Ah, rich, rich, fabulously wealthy. Yes. All right. Well, at least I got points for that. Let's see how much money I have now. Oh God, I'm so overloaded. Eighteen thousand. Okay. Wait. That means on top of like the sixteen thousand I already had, that means I only gained like two thousand or so. Not that big a deal, but whatever. Oh, there's two guards up here now. Oh, Abdum and Ab... the other guy. But I know how to get up there now. So let's try it. Alright, so the trick is I go all the way up the building and then I can climb all the way over here and get up onto his... veranda? Or is that a patio? Perhaps a terrace? Uh, I was always unclear on the distinction myself. It's definitely not a balcony. Aye, aye. You all right? There you are. Hi -yo. All right, and hi -ya. Oh, 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 Adam doesn't like this. He saw me. Whoop. Oh, so you're just going to stand there, are you? I could kill you, you know. But I'm not going to. I don't think there's a more stealthy way I can do that, is there? Uh, not being noticed by the guards. Oh, man. I don't want to kill anybody if I don't have to, but I need to get in there. Abdum. I'm really sorry, man. I am really sorry. But for the sake of the game, you have to die. What? What? Why? Why aren't you dying? Why aren't you dying a lot? All right, let's do this the old-fashioned way. He doesn't die. Abdum is immortal. Okay, well that's a little weird. Um, Abdum, I, I, he, he doesn't die, and he scratches his ass a lot. I wonder if the fascination spell would work with him. I can get him out of the way. The game is just being so buggy. No. Nope, he doesn't care about the flashing lights either. Not that stupid. Why must this game hate me so much? Why? Oh, look at him. Oh, look. Is he stuck in there or is he frolicking? Bird, do you need help? I used up all of my daggers. No, I didn't. Come on. Choose which that. Choose, I'm sorry. It's been a late night. Choose that. Now nah, you know, don't even get to know. You'll just choose something.